I see her. That's yeah. my sister. sister just cut herself. Shh, Amy. I'm sorry. Amy, it's okay. Just stay calm. Take a breath. She got cut really bad, okay? I'm her, I'm her big brother. I'm sorry. Amy, it's okay. Just, stay, just breathe. Breathe and keep your arm elevated, all right? It's I okay. You. I love you, too. Just keep your arm elevated. Okay. While we're at, um, it's pretty bleak. I came home on Friday. She was on the floor like a raggedy Ann doll, face down. She was clearly unconscious. Please. Can I help you? No, 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 no. Want a hug? Then I walked outside and there was a friend of hers that had overdosed. Come on, honey. Come on, wake up. You gotta sit up. Oh, Hello, I just came home and found my daughter on the floor and there's another one on the couch. I got my daughter up, but this one's not moving. She's unresponsive. Breathe, honey. <laughs> Yes, she's got, she's blue on the face. <laughs> Get off of her. Get my AED kit. Wake up. Wake up. Let's go. Wakey, wakey. We need to have the needles on. We need another needle. It doesn't work. We had to give the girl five needles before she came to life. Okay, she's breathing. Wakey, wakey. Oh, I can't even believe this. Natasha, you were dead. You're lucky mommy came home. That's the biggest worry I think anybody has here, that we don't know how many more times she's going to overdose before it's going to be her last. All right, tonight we have information of, a, of an individual who's been selling some dirty heroin. We have source information from several different sources that this individual has sold the uh, dirty heroin to the individuals on uh, Delk Road who are now deceased. My name's Sergeant Josh Lutke. I work with the Marriott Police Department. And I supervise the crime interdiction unit known as CIU. Fig, if you can work on your source tonight, we specialize in narcotics, gangs, prostitution, surveillance, stakeout, things of that nature. On a daily basis, we encounter your dealers, your addicts, your users. We're going to detain you right now, okay? Okay. Prior to 2014, in our community, heroin was almost non-existent. Nobody in this area had ever seen it. How long you been using, man? And then we start seeing it monthly, then we started seeing it weekly. Hey, man, why are you so sick? And now we see it daily. Heroin is killing people in our area at a faster rate than any other drug ever has. It comes into the city down in Atlanta, and people go down there to purchase it and come back up. It's a huge problem. And unfortunately, where there's a demand, there's a supply. So you take one dealer out today, there'll be another dealer tomorrow. So we continue to target the dealers and work them up to bigger dealers, get out there and hit it from every angle and do everything we can to push it back and keep it out of our city. township of Upper Darby is approximately eight square miles and it's a nicer middle class area but Upper Darby has a drug problem and it's everywhere. We've got an unconscious three-year-old male on the corner. Going to an unconscious person on the corner. Five nine, it's an overdose. Listen, man, we're obviously worried about it. What happened? Was he using in the truck or what? What'd he take? I'm not sure. It's Narcan administered. Robert! Robert! Robert? Oh, he opened it, Robert. Come on, buddy. Open your eyes up, Robert. Come on, bub. Come on, bub. Open your eyes up, Robert. Come on, bud. Robert? Robert, bud. There we go. Yes, he's good. He's all good, yeah. This is not your Courtney that's out there right now. This is not the girl that when she was born and she was a toddler running around with hope in her eyes. Because you're in the state of Florida, you have the Marchman Act here. And 
that act allows for uh, three family members to sign a petition and get her involuntarily put in the rehab. If she is not compliant, she can be put in jail automatically. So personally, I think that's something that needs to be done. Would you be willing to sign it? OK, just say she says no tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, we so, have her arrested right then and taken? Yeah, I would call the cops. Hi, Courtney. Hi. How are you? Hi, Courtney. Hey. You can have a <laughs> we just want to talk to you? I don't want to be a part of that. And I'm not, I'm well, not going to be here, a part of it. You know what? Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I can understand that. Hang on. Courtney? I think you may want to just listen to what I have to say so you can be aware of what's going on here. Courtney, do you care what's going to happen next? Courtney, if you do this, we're going to send you to jail, Courtney. We're going to march one after you. So you need to go back or else it's going to get ugly. Yeah, it's gonna get really ugly, Courtney. They're telling me I'm going to jail if I don't do this. I need you to pick me up right now. You've also been doing I, a lot of things. This is the intervention right now, Jeff, and I'm getting a Courtney. I already lost my grandmother. Courtney. I need you. Courtney, please. We have called the police who are on their way, and we're going to give the police a complete dialogue about what's going on here. Well, now we got to get the Marshman Act papers moving forward. We were trying to get her to, to do the intervention, and then she had called her boyfriend, who's also like a heroin addict. Courtney. And I won't, you won't see me for a very long time, but you'll always be in my heart, okay? Well, Courtney, I love you too, my dear, and the only thing that we want for you is for you to get well and get better. But that's not the way to do it. That's messed up. And tell my sister and my mom to f off, and I'm excuse my language, but they're not, they're dead, they're like dead to me. Well, they, they just... I don't care about them. I'm at the airport, so I'm leaving. I gotta go. I love you. Bye. She already hung up. She says she's at the airport. She's not at the airport. She's not at the airport. Many times people are intervened on and aren't interested in going right away, and it just takes a little more time for them to uh, come to the light and see that there really is nowhere for them to turn. And in Courtney's case, the goal here is to make her as uncomfortable as possible with every relationship she has, with every resource possible that we can utilize to continue to raise the bottom so that she has nowhere else to turn except to go to treatment. 